Richard from London Mining Network. And one of the things that we work on is the impact of coal mining. It's clear if we're to halt damaging climate change, we have to stop burning coal without starting to burn biomass. And Drax is going from one ridiculous and damaging thing to another. There's a close link between Drax and what London Mining Network was doing last week. We were hosting a visitor from Colombia, a man called Julio Gomez, who was representing communities forcibly evicted from their land during the 1980s and early 90s in order for a huge open cast coal mine to be built in northern Colombia. It's called the Cerejon Mine and it's owned now by three massive mining companies listed on the London Stock Exchange, Anglo-American, BHP Billiton and Extrata. And last week, Anglo-American was having its annual general meeting for its shareholders. So Julio came over from Colombia to make the point to shareholders and to the board about the fact that the communities forced off their land early on in the life of the mine still haven't got any decent form of compensation and were scattered as communities. So there's human rights abuse involved in what Drax has been doing because it was burning Colombian coal, which almost certainly came from that mine, Serecon. And now it's involved in the human rights abuses that have just been pointed out, clearing people off their land in order to get biomass. The T-shirt I'm wearing is worn in solidarity with other people who've suffered from coal mining, this time in Indonesia. We had Indonesian friends over a couple of years ago to attend the annual general meeting of that other massive British-based coal mining and other mining company, BHP Billiton. BHP Billiton wants to bulldoze a vast quantity of rainforest in the middle of Kalimantan, the island of Borneo, in order to open a huge open cast coal mine there. And it's the same all over the world. There are British-based mining companies who are bulldozing rainforests, destroying farmland, uh, violating indigenous people's sacred sites, who are complicit in the kind of human rights abuses that are routinely used to get pesky farmers and indigenous people off their land. And much of this activity is being financed by us, by people in this country who either pay into pension funds or have insurance policies or have bank accounts. And that money gets invested in these companies because they are big on the London Stock Exchange. London being the main centre of world mining finance. But Drax can't say, well, because we're getting out of coal, we're doing a good thing. We've just heard about the impact of biomass. We have to get out of both coal and biomass. And we have to hold companies that are based here in Britain to account for what they're doing, whether they be energy companies like Drax or mining companies like Anglo-American and BHP Billiton. So thanks for being here and thanks for listening. And let's hope we can defeat both coal burning and biofuel burning.